Hello again, Kelly, K-A-0-K-A-O. We're going to talk about radios. Bao Fang came out with a tri-band, and I think we should take a look at it. This is the K5 Plus, and I don't know where they get those numbers, but whatever. Let's turn it on. Welcome. Channel mode. So she sounds a little more Chinese than the previous gal, which is fine. Uh, you'll notice a very nice little color screen there. That's a real plus. Uh, I like to have mine set up with the frequency on top and the name of the channel below. That's our local ham repeater, 2 meter. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of things here. I'm pretty excited about how this arrived. Came in a nice box, obviously. Let's take a look at what all came with it, though. So you get an instruction manual that's reasonably useful, although it took me a while to figure out that uh, there's no actual single touch button to change the power menu. So I want to go from transmit on high to medium to low, uh, depending on how close I am to uh, the ones that I'm sending to. And I have to go into the menu, menu two, to do that here. It's a little bit of a pain. I'd like to have the old way back. Look at there. This is a C-type uh, USB connector. What in the world is that for? Well, I'll tell you. Look on the back of this thing. If I can dig it open, you can charge it with a C-type. That's kind of a neat feature. Of course, you can remove this battery like any other. It's kind of a nice mid-size between the standard um, UV5R, which is what... Uh, what is this thing? 1800 milliamps. This is 2500 milliamps. And of course, there's the larger, um, what are these? 3800? Gosh, we better look. 3800 milliamps. So you can see if I put this thing back together. Welcome. Channel little, mode. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be here. A little bit of difference when I've got the larger battery on. We go back to the normal world. And uh, it's a little bulkier than the standard UV5R. But I'll tell you, it, it feels a little more solid too. And I really like that screen. The only difficulty with that screen is when that goes out, uh, you don't see anything. With the standard UV5R, when the screen goes out, at least you can read the LCD. But when you've got this type of LED, it just kind of turns black on you. There you go. A little hard to read? Yep, definitely. So you have to push a button or uh, make something happen. Hey. It'll come back to life. Of course, there's the other. I just entered a, an input. And what do I have to do to get it to go away? I have to put the exit button. But where's the exit button? Oh, yeah, there it is. E-I-X-T. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? I spent a lot of time in the engineering field. That's what I do for a, a living. And a bunch of that time was spent over in China. And I met some really great engineers. But I'll remind you, their second language is English. So uh, they were really smart guys. And I really liked all of them. But uh, somebody just wasn't able to quite make the connection there. That's okay. Kind of makes it fun. Also comes with a standard charger that you plug right into the wall makes a nice click when you install it there we go isn't that nice so that's your charging capabilities that's kind of beautiful it comes with a uh, typical motorola style plug-in for your earpiece oh and the intrepid handle what do you call these things eh, whatever i'm not using it i did put the clip on because i really like to stick that on my pocket or belt when i'm out walking about. Um, you'll notice that this is running a uh, dual band antenna. This is a tri-band radio, but you don't want to transmit on the 220 band with this uh, antenna. This is a typical kind of a nice mix between a rubber ducky and like a Nagoya 771 sort of thing. Um, I'm kind of impressed with it honestly, but we'll get to that. Here's the one for 220. Oops, I've still got the stuff from my SWR testing on it. There we go. And you'll see that you will 
find very little where's my camera come on i'm getting warmer warmer can you focus well anyway it tells you inside there it says uh vhf 220 to 225 megahertz that's the uh, 1.25 meter band which is not a particularly popular band here i have one other friend that actually runs it and uh Kind of makes it uh, handy, I guess, because there's not just a whole lot of traffic on that. But while we're talking about antennas, I went ahead and did some uh, testing. So the SWR on the VHF side with this little antenna, 1.01 .01 SWR in the middle of the band. On my favorite uh, 147240, um, 1.02. I'm pretty happy with that. No wonder everybody's been giving me good uh, signal reports. And that was with 7 watts of power. Now I've heard people advertise that this, oh, a 10 watt radio. I don't know what world they're living in. I did put my meter on it and uh, I got 7 watts on high power. So that's my world anyway. Since we're all interested in GMRS, uh, I put that on on, on channel 10 i got about 3.4 which i know if you're a big ham uh, aficionado that's pretty crappy but i've checked a lot of rubber duckies and that's pretty decent actually 2.9 at channel 22 so that's the higher end um on the repeater channels i was getting about 3.2 and let's see what did i get for power in there 7.1 on the gmrs bands i thought that was pretty decent and that's at high power obviously i got 4.2 at medium power so that's pretty decent on the 440 band the 70 centimeters to the hams that in the middle of the band at 435 uh, gave me an swr of dun, 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 where was it 2.2 i was pretty impressed with that 8.3 watts on the power i uh, thought that was really good because usually you're running in that seven range with something they advertise as eight watts when we got into the 220 band the uh, 1.25 meters um, not impressive even on high power it was only 4.8 i don't know why that is but this little antenna had a 1.6 swr that's pretty decent for a rubber ducky but you'll notice i put a little flag on it because I do not want to accidentally pick up this and put it on one of my radios thinking it's a standard rubber ducky because it looks like almost any other rubber duck. So be careful there. I flagged it for that reason. Let's see, is there anything else I can tell you about this radio? Um, it's got the usual features, I guess. You know, just the uh, AB mode, the VM mode. You can switch the band in eh, eh, some way anyway. Uh, just wish that I could get that power button, that transmit power button. If anybody can figure that out and find whether there's really a one-touch button to do that, I would sure love to know. So shoot me a comment if you're in the neighborhood. Uh, always love to hear from you. Hit the like button if you appreciated this video. Otherwise, I'm going to send it back to you all. This is KA0KAL, and I will be clear.